Okay, so I'm raiding. I'm playing the game just like the rest of you. Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Yes, I'm still playing it. For those of you out there that keep telling me, play something else, play something else. I've been playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. So a little something I thought of that I wanted to get across to you guys. I'm going to put on the forums as a suggestion for the developers, which I hope eventually maybe they can get to. But with so many things in this game that need fixing and that need updating or whatever, something like this is probably not a main priority, but a little UI UX uh, issue that I thought would really help the inventory issue. And to explain what I mean first, when we have our weapons in our inventory right here, right? So let's say we have this scorpion. So you, you have the scorpion and you hover over it and it has 10% reload speed, 10% range, gear score 300, right? Now the issue I've been having is now getting basically duplicates. So that's what we've all been having these, the entire game. But now that at end game, you really don't want to delete all your weapons because they all have different types of uh, perks so for instance for instance this one 10 percent reload speed 10 percent range but now look this scorpion at, at gear score 300 i got one of my first ones that i that i have gotten a while ago all the way at the bo bottom of my <laughs> gun list the same scorpion is got 30 percent accuracy 30 percent range gear score 260 so what I've been thinking kind of, uh, to kind of clean this up a bit that I wish I, that I would like to see uh, happen with this game, because I don't think this type of inventory system is such a mess and it's so hard to navigate this. And especially like I delete a lot of my weapons, but if you have like control room vector, no recoil, I think I have another one of these now up here somewhere, control room vector right here, no recoil. Okay. So that's the same thing right but you get you get the idea with what i'm saying so i put together a little something right here with a little spaghetti code i'll show you um a little html a little javascript for those of you if you if you code it all a little bit you can pause it and go through it a couple switch cases uh, a lot of like document query selector get this item and if i click this switch on that things like that so i put together a little something and I thought of this, right? So basically this is what I would like to see. So here's a low budget version <laughs> of the UI in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. What I'd like to see, right? So let's say you wanna change out your assault weapon, right? So here's your assault gun, and, uh, your AK-47 assault. So let's say you want this Scorpion uh, Evo, Evo 3 CQC weapon, whatever, right? And it'll come right here. Now, instead of having five Scorpions throughout this list, it'll just be one gun of each type. And I don't know how, to, how it would work with, uh, what is it, disabling, dismembering, whatever, uh, uh, when you get rid of a weapon, what's it called? uh dismantling derp a lot of derp derp going on here so when you uh click on your scorpion what there should be instead of cy cycling through your entire list of guns it should be a simple drop down menu bam you have four of these weapons uh level uh a gear score 300 10 percent reload speed 30 percent range uh uh, 30 percent range uh 290 re uh, no recoil gear score 300 negative 30 percent technique cooldown plus 10 reload speed these are just these are just values i took from the guns that are in the game this doesn't necessarily mean that the scorpion has this in game it, it doesn't that this menu doesn't even change when i change the weapons the control room vector they're all the same the i the point is to get this idea across that i would like to see coming in here this inventory cleaned up so it's more like wildlands where we only had one gun of each type and the way they did in breakpoint now where you have 50 million guns with all different types of stats on them you'll you'll be able to have this mk14 and you can come in here and just say i want the no recoil version and of course you know all the stats would pop up here I didn't go that far. I didn't, you know, try to remake the whole thing. I just wanted to get the point across with 
having it a, a, a cleaner inventory system because when you come in here you each one of these guns should be a specific gun it shouldn't be there shouldn't be five of the same guns in here and i have to find what gun does what so i don't know how many of uh, i have of, of each weapon but like with the scorpion 30 percent accuracy 30 percent range let's see if i can find another scorpion or if i only have those two shoddy shoddy stoner compact uh coblin i think i have a few coblins actually i could even use coblins and then the scorpion i have here yeah so i have two scorpions but like let's look at those coblins that that we saw All right so here's a coblin damage the drones i have to keep going okay where's another coblin that i skip okay here's another coblin it's again damage the drones let's keep going stoner did i delete all my other coblins because i know I, I i had gotten a coblin a while back all right so that's all i have two coblins with damage the drones meaning i can delete one of those and i don't know if they want to streamline the process of just getting when you pick up guns they're automatically dismant uh dismantled and they're automatically put into your inventory like this where let's say you get an extra one it's automatically dismantled and then the perk is automatically put here these are some real like ui uh ux uh things that that would really clean the game up a lot and clean up our inventory a lot because i know for me now that we're at the end game and i'm getting the same guns over and over and over again i don't want to come in here and say all right i want to rock this shoddy 30 percent reload speed after a kill uh and i just saw it right down here again here it is again 30 percent speed after a kill so it looks like i could delete one of those so i have that shoddy again m4 boss 12 again all right so maybe this is the only perk on this weapon but you see now it's in my inventory three times i have to come i have to come through here and really clean this up but as you can see with other guns there are different things look my 267 mk14 assault 25 meter automatic marking 12 percent damage to drones i think i just got an mk14 uh in my last run here here's a, the assault 12 percent damage to thrones negative 30 percent cooldown now instead of imagine you guys out there that want to save everything look i'm only 127 out of 300 items that i could hold i could crack and grab another 150 60 guns and just and just hold them as as well as gear this this could be for gear as well you know you can come into here and instead of going through all of these uh levels you drone evasion technique cooldown what you would do is you would just have it to where it pops up with the gear Right, it would be the gear here, and you just drop down and you see which gear technique you want to roll roll out with. So, like right now, I kind of want to let's say play Panther. So I'm gonna go with uh, I don't know um, accuracy and range. No, maybe with that I'd I'd want to do sniper and be even lethaler. But with Panther, maybe I want to do no recoil, and I just want to be able to hit with the submachine gun. You know, like, I don't know. However, however you could finagle it to where, however you want to play, whether it's assault, medic, sniper, Panther, you can figure this out. Maybe you're running assault and you're running an LMG, so you want to do to, uh, help your reload speed and your range. You know, and you can figure it out so much easier this way while deciding your classes so that's all that's that's a little something i wanted to discuss right now i really know there are so many things to nitpick at with this game there are many so there there are so many things that we can discuss that we want to see uh improved i know a lot of us are waiting for the new title update that was probably coming out the last week of january that's another conversation to be have probably the 20th of january we're getting a new title update a lot of bug fixes i don't know if we're getting the terminator event yada 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 next week we'll probably be getting any anything that season pass holders should be getting early we'll be getting then but these are little things that i'd like to see and after beating the raid uh yesterday i beat it late before it reset and I, I, I'm starting to get these duplicates and, you know, I've been telling myself this and 
I've just been ignoring it. And every time I get a new weapon, I look and I make this, I, I look to make sure if the weapons are the same. And if they're the same, then I'll delete the lower gear score weapon and I'll just keep the higher gear score weapon. But if you have three or four or five of the same weapons and they all have different attributes, you should be able to just come into your inventory, pick the weapon you want. And then from a drop down menu, pick the attribute you want. This way, your menu's cleaner. It's very, it's much easier for you to find the attribute you want with the weapon you want, and it's just a better experience, in my opinion. So that's all. I just wanted to make a little video on that. Uh, put together a little something uh, with some JavaScript and HTML for you guys, CSS, you know, all that easy web stuff, and um, showcase it off. And maybe I don't know. Uh, if anything like this will ever get done but eventually i would like to see inventory management cleaned up a bit i know a lot of people are waiting for to uh, disable um things uh at the same time disable multiple things at the at, at once i know like the division where you can trash 10 items at once instead of like ghost recon breakpoint where it's one item at a time there are quality of life decisions like that but i'd also like to see this because on a on the fly when i'm changing out my weapons when i'm changing out my gear a lot of these stats are class specific so if you want you know your stealth and agility while you're playing panther you shouldn't have to go through each one of your um inventory items on your body you shouldn't have to go through all of them and um look to see which one you want you should just be able to to go to your gloves and then right here maybe there should be a little drop down menu where you could pick what you want and the 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 stat that you want with what you're going to roll out with at that time whether it's a panther class or an assault class this way you can really come in here and 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 finagle your options quicker and on the fly anyway let me know what you all think. Uh, majority of you might not even be playing this game anymore. I know it's like, uh, it's a waste of time for a lot of you. I'm still having fun with it. I still uh, I still will probably be playing it for, you know, sometime in the, uh, in the near future and probably gonna stick with it for a while. There are other games I wanna play and do play, obviously, but just wanted to talk about this and yeah, that's all. So you guys and girls, let me know what you think. Do you think it's a good idea? Do you have a problem with inventory management being that you can hold 300 items and maybe at end game, which is where this is more of an issue, you find yourself looking for certain stats or having so much inventory you don't even care anymore or you feel like the stats don't even matter, which is another issue. There are so many stats and Sometimes we you can't even really feel the difference between them, so you don't even care and you just pick whatever. But you let me know in the comments, we'll discuss it. So that is all, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I will be posting this on the forums and as a suggestion. See what uh see if I can get some momentum on it, some traction, and that is it. So thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Uh hit me up in the comments and we'll discuss some things and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, peace.